they ask us to find an equivalent fraction that can be equal to each and every of this given fraction. All of this. Okay. In order to do that, we can flash back into the ones that we did before. We had some examples like when we had 1 over 5 equal to something over 30. Do you remember this? Yes, sir. Good. So we tend to say 5 times something is 30. And what is that yeah. something? The answer, sir. Six, very good. So that's six times one now gives us the six, right? Yes, sir. Good, good. And we also looked at other examples like when we have two over maybe seven equal to something over 21. We observe, seven. yeah. So seven times what? We give you this three, right? Mm -hmm. Then what do we do with the three to multiply and this? We equal six. Equal six. You you remember this, right? Yes, sir. And let me look at maybe two or three more examples. Then we will continue with the ones we have. So in this case, we observe that we have been given denominator and denominator. But we're given only one numerator to find the other. So we just have to compare both denominators and say the first denominator times what gives me the second denominator. Once I find my answer, I multiply by this numerator to get the other numerator. The same thing with this. 7 times 3 gives us 21. Then we multiply the 3 by 2 to give us 6. Okay. Let us now consider the case whereby we have both numerators given, like 3 over 8 equal to 21 over something. You know, this time around, we have numerators and numerators. Okay, what do you say? 7. 7, but 7 will not go here, okay? It will be 56. Very good, 56, because it is 7 times the 8 gives us the 56. That's a very good job. So, we can now move back to these examples, I mean, this classwork that we have, or homework or classwork, we can call it classwork now, because it's no longer homework, but it is now the classwork. So, let us change it to classwork. Classwork. Okay, good. Please make sure you don't write anything. You just focus so that you can get it. Now, this type, I call it number one now. So let me just put this flashback into a box and start on a fresh note for this. So number one, we have 10 over 11. We want to write, oh, did I write 10 there? 10 over 11. And we want to write a fraction that is going to be equal in value to the given expression. This is very simple. If nothing can divide this, then you simply multiply them by common factor. Maybe times 2 and times 2. And this will be 20 over 22. Then they are equal. Okay? Yes, or if you don't want to use two, you can use another thing. Maybe you say times five, then also times five, okay? Then you have 50 over 55. So whatever you use to multiply the top, you must use to multiply the bottom in order to get this one, okay? Okay, sir. So I can just, without writing the multiplication there, I can just say this is equal to... Let me think of another thing. Mm, 10 times 3 gives me 30. Then I'll put 33 here. Such that if they put, if this is what we had initially, 10 over 11 
equal to 30 over box okay now you see that this one becomes easier right because you say 10 times what gives me this that's three and three times this give me what 33 is that clear yes good good so let us look at the next example number two we have 21 over 17 21 over 70. Now again, is there anything that can divide 21 and 70? Um, we can use the... We can use 7, right? Uh, yeah. Is that... 7 can divide both of them, right? Yeah. So in the first case, in the first example, in order to get my equivalent fraction, I multiplied by 3, okay? Okay. This is because nothing can divide both of them. No factor is common to them, okay? okay. But here now, there's a factor common to them. So we'll get a lower version when we use the factor. So 7 here is 3 and 7 here is 10, okay? Okay. So what is the fraction we want to write? 3 over 10. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Good. Let's look at number 3. Number, number three. 3 is on the 7 times tables. You said what? What did um, you say? Question number 3 is... In the seven times table, right? Yeah. yeah. Good, good. That's a very good observation. So seven here, how many? Nine. Mm -hmm. And seven here, how many? Eleven. Eleven. So it means the fraction that is equal to 63 over seven will be what? Nine over 11. Okay. Okay. Stop. What about number four? We have 40 over 44. And 40 over 44, if we use 4 to divide them, what do we have at the front there? We have 10 yeah. over what? 11. Because 4 here, 10. And 4 here, 11. So the same number must be used to divide them. But the first one, I couldn't divide, okay? Okay, Do you remember why I could not divide? Because nothing is common as a factor to them, okay? okay That's sorry. why I had to multiply in order to get uh, an equivalent fraction to that fraction, okay? Okay, sir. Um, let me do one more then. I will allow you to the write... The fifth it. one? The fifth one, yeah. Oh, five. And so the six times table. It's in the six times table, right? Yeah. It's yeah. It's also in the nine times table. If I guess it right. Okay. So if we use your six that you mentioned, we're gonna have what? Six and fifty-four. No. That's nine. Then six here. That's twelve. Okay. Okay. So. But if we use my um nine times table that i mentioned okay okay so, so we're still going to get another value which is nine here that is six and nine here that is eight okay okay so. and do you know that your nine over twelve and my six over eight can be the same value let's check it three here three and three here, four, right? Mm -hmm. Good. And in your in my own two, two here, three, and two here, four. So you can see we arrived at the same answer, right? Yeah. So though they ask us to write only one equivalent fraction, okay? okay so. But we have ended up in this one. We've been able to write one, then two, and three, okay? Okay. So. Uh -huh. so, but if you're given to do an exam, only one is enough. Is that clear? 
Yes. So I wanted to write down this flashback, write down this solution to one to five, then you will now try the next five from probably six to 10 or six to 15 if you can, okay? Okay. Sure. Or if you think you can try everything, so be it. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay, so when you are done, you let me know. But if you get stuck at any point, alert me at once, okay? All right, thank you. Have a wait.